Jenny. Solving a riddle that I mentioned should never have trusted them. Wow. I find it quite disconcerting, and Sharp doesn't even raise an eyebrow. Yet I drop Bombarda! I suppose in all fairness, one should be prepared for him. What did he say about a basilisk? Ronan what he'd recommend. It's you! Just the person I need. Oh, she doesn't seem upset to see me. You should have known better. Samantha, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. It's my brother William. The one I told you about after charms class. I don't remember he's, that. He's been cursed. He ignored my warning and now he's lying in St. Mungo's looking completely pathetic. He simply never listens. I'm sorry, how exactly has he been cursed? Oh, you won't believe it. Truly, but his feet were turned into purple beets. You can imagine his distress. And mine. I won't even go into the attention he was getting from our garden rabbits before he admitted himself to hospital. Perhaps you could make him a salad. Beets for feet. <laughs> how hilarious. I mean, how, how terrible. Horrible, truly. You and the entire school may find it funny, but the situation is dire. Well, it is an unusual situation. How did your brother end up like this? It's entirely his own fault. I told him about some research I'd done recently on our ancestor Marmaduke Dale. In particular, my discovery that Marmaduke's tomb was cursed. My brother's always making fun of my discoveries. This time, he laughed in my face. Told me I'd misinterpreted my findings. As if that weren't possible. And to prove his point, he went right up to the entrance of the tomb, and poof! His feet transfigured into beets. So he did it to himself? If I'm honest, I'd say he had it coming. Normally I'd agree with you, but he's my brother. I know what he did showed abysmal judgment on his part. And no one deserves such a fate to last forever. Especially as the result of a single brainless mistake. Now I worry that if the curse isn't reversed, it could become permanent. Can't the curse be broken? Possibly. The curse stems from a crest that was stolen from Marmaduke. If the crest were returned to its rightful place upon his sarcophagus, then I believe that William's feet may be restored. You battled trolls when they attacked Hogsmeade, escaped a dragon, and I could tell by your work and charms that you're a skilled spellcaster. Returning a crest to a sarcophagus should be almost effortless for you. So, will you help us? Why was Mom Duke's tomb cursed? The curse is the result of an intense sibling rivalry between Granum Dale and his younger brother Marmaduke. Marmaduke was a famed herbologist, and Granum resented the attention that he received. Sibling rivalry? Sounds as if it might run in the family. But I would never intentionally curse my brother. Not like Granum did. When their mother died, Marmaduke was given the prized family crest. Granum felt that as the eldest child, he should have been given it. Years later, when Marmaduke died, Granum stole it and cursed the tomb so that none in the Dale family could ever pay their respects. How do you know it's safe? I don't want my feet to turn into beets as well. Oh, but the curse only applies to Marmaduke's descendants, as my brother so aptly demonstrated. That's why I need your help. You're unrelated to my family, so the curse wouldn't affect you. I don't actually know anything about my family. What if I am a descendant? Why is your ancestor so well known? He discovered the properties of several magical herbs and plants. He also uncovered numerous types of flora. The wizarding world owes him a great debt. His work not only impacted the discipline of herbology, but also potion making. What did it do for beet making? I can take the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You'll simply go into the tomb where Marmaduke was laid to rest and place the crest on top of his sarcophagus. According to my research, the tomb's been abandoned for centuries. So it should be a fairly simple task. 
You'll find it just east of the hamlet of Brockborough. Thank you for your help. My family is indebted to you. If I have learned anything, it's like going into somewhere. I need to find the tomb near Brockborough. Hasn't been inhabited. This family crest on the sarcophagus there. Is a bad idea. And there's probably spiders. Or there's dead things. Dead things that want to kill me. Come here. Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. Okay. Beat? Don't. Beat me now. Rebellion. Well, my feet didn't turn into beats. That's a good start. That is a start. I just saw a spider. Rebellion. That's not a start I want. Is there anywhere else for me to go this way? Oh, it brings me down here. No kidding. Should have known a herbologist would use Devil's Snare. And a fucking troll. take care of their own crap. Rebellion. If I slide down there, can I come back up? Okay, I can. Rebellion. Why is the music so intense? I see the troll. What is that? Why is that? Depulsive. I can't climb up there, can I? I didn't think so. Lumos. Hmm. Ow, what? What just happened? What just happened? What? I'm panicking. Expelliarmus. Rebellio. Should have known a herbologist would use Devil's Snare. Do I have to get all the same stuff? Well, 
like, Lumos. guess I'll just go down this time. I won't question if I got everything. A troll? You can't be serious. Of course. Because am I ever lucky? The answer is no. to storm around the drinker which will stun and damage nearby enemies do we think that'll actually help Okay. What's over here? This is what I wanted. Well, Marmaduke certainly left behind more than plants. I guess not. Rebellion. Lots of sarcophagus. This must be Marmaduke. Should reverse the curse. Hopefully. Return to Samantha. And okay, yeah. Just take my time going through here, no biggie. Rebellion. Rebellion.
music is intense in here. The soundtrack of a herbologist is crazy. Samantha will be glad to hear that the crest has been returned. I certainly hope it reverses the curse. Let's hope so. Revelio. me I'm happy to tell you that I returned the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus just as you asked I thought as much I received word from St. Mungo's that my brother's feet are back to normal no more beats oh I cannot thank you enough it wasn't too much trouble I hope um uh I mean the troll didn't almost kill me Just a measly old troll. Nothing significant. A troll? Oh dear, I'm so sorry. That's awful. No one has been in that tomb for centuries. But I can't say I'm surprised. Marmaduke seems to have been full of surprises. Indeed he was. Well, I suppose I should be going. I'm anxious to see my brother, who must be elated to have his feet back. Of course. I certainly would be. William and I are forever in your debt. Thank you again for what you did. I don't know. She's just smelling an empty pot.